In response to the Capitol attack that took place on January 6th and the demand for racial justice, we need Congress to pass the For the People Act. In our first two videos in this series on the For the People Act, we discussed voting rights and money in politics. In this video, we will be discussing the issue of gerrymandering and the redistricting reform that would put an end to it. First, a couple of definitions. Gerrymandering is defined as the act of redrawing district lines to influence an election to favor a particular party, candidate, or constituency. Redistricting is the process by which new congressional and state legislative district boundaries are drawn. The Center for American Progress published a report that found unfairly drawn congressional districts shifted on average 59 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives during the 2012, 2014, and 2016 elections, meaning every other November, 59 politicians that would not have been elected based on statewide voter support for their party won anyway because the lines were drawn in their favor, often by their allies in the Republican or Democratic Party. Redistricting abuse is a bipartisan problem. Both parties will draw districts that serve them if given the opportunity. In 2018, North Carolina lawmakers had just two and a half weeks to redraw all 13 of their congressional districts to be less partisan. A federal court struck down the congressional map saying Republican lawmakers violated the constitution when they redrew many of the maps to lean so heavily in favor of the Republicans. Furthermore, in 2018, a federal court panel ruled that Maryland unconstitutionally drew the boundary lines for its sixth congressional district to benefit Democrats and banned the map from being used in further elections. The For the People Act has solutions to these problems. The act requires states to use independent redistricting commissions to draw congressional maps and imposes guidelines on how districts should be drawn. These commissions would contain equal numbers of Republicans, Democrats, and unaffiliated members. Commissions will include members who are representative of the state's demographic makeup and different geographic regions with enough members from racial, ethnic, and language minorities. Members would also be screened for conflicts of interest. The For the People Act also specifically outlaws partisan gerrymandering and prioritizes criteria like keeping geographically concentrated communities with a shared interest, also known as communities of interest, together. The act enhances protections for communities of color and communities of interest directly impacted by past redistricting abuse. There is proof that redistricting reform works. In 2008, California voters decided to give a panel of citizens the power to draw the state's political maps. California then shifted from one of the least responsive shifts in public opinion to one of the most responsive. California's maps did not just create political fairness, they also kept communities of interest together, increased representation for communities of color, and expanded opportunities for competition. The For the People Act makes a secret process transparent and participatory. Commission business would be conducted in open public meetings. Data would be made available and all official communications would be subject to disclosure. Finally, community groups and members would have a say through testimony and feedback. The act would open the door to redistricting, which used to be done in backroom deals. The For the People Act will dramatically improve a congressional representation for all Americans. It will ensure fair, effective, and accountable representation. To learn more about the key measures in the For the People Act, click the links to our other videos below.